Yeah. Sancho, so you're playing with a ton of confidence. You're in the starting lineup today. What do you think has led to your just improved play, your confidence on the court from last season? Yeah, I think just the summer work. I think I bought in, you know, to, to the plan. Obviously, through summer league, we've had a lot of uh, good workouts. So, yeah, just hard work, you know. Uh, I mean, I've been working all the shots, working on defense, physicality, like getting stronger. So, you know, just it's part of the work. So, I've done it before. I'm not doing anything new out there. So, that's, that's where I get the confidence from. Santi, you know, everyone, like I said, has, has talked about, you know, your off-season improvement. Um, you stepped into the starting lineup today. You made the first four three-pointers. You got, felt like you got fouled on the last one that you banked in. And, you, you know, you look up, you, you hump your shoulders. Just what was this performance like for you in terms of, you know, just where do you go from here and, and just uh, what were your overall takeaways from, from today's game? Yeah, I think today was, was a good game. Obviously, uh, I think, you know, we did a lot of, of different stuff. So it's good, you know, building towards the season. But like you said, obviously, you know, seeing those shots go in, you know, it's just like that's what I work for, right? You know, well, some days you're going to make more shots. Some days you're not going to make as many shots. Obviously, that, you know, that, that bank shot, <laughs> I wasn't looking to bank it. But, you know, it's one of those days, you know, uh, I've been working on those shots. So, you know, it's just like it happens. So, um, you know, like I said, it's just, you know, being out there and just, just being confident in everything I do and just trying to help. Which part of the game you like best that's developed so much? Because you've shown some flashes of going running the court and finishing at the rim. You show some flashes of throwing it with the with the funny pass to get the good assist. And you also show some consistency from the outside. Which one do you like that you have? Uh, you know, just, I mean, a bit of everything is always good. Uh, I would say I just feel way more stronger so it's just like I, I can bump into people now you know and i can just that's the thing i like the most you know just that change of mindset too uh, you know i'm stronger now so now i can take the physicality to them instead of taking it so it's just you know i, I think that's the best but the overall thing you know doing a bit of everything is always what i've liked so that if that answers your question how do you think you pair with steven when the two of you are on the floor together and he was giving you a hard time in the locker room. Uh, he said, you can see because you shaved your eyebrows now. That's what he said. And, he's, and he said that you're his guy and that you guys, you know, make fun of each other all the time. Can you just, what, what's your relationship with him like and what's your relationship with him like on the court? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I got to take the eyebrow winner, of course, but I think he's number two, so he can't, he can't talk a lot. But yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I think we understand each other very well on and off the court. Um, so I think that's just, that's how I would sum it up. You know, I mean, we're good friends off the court. So not just on the court, it's just like, we can talk to each other. You know, if he doesn't fight me, I'll tell him something. He'll tell me like he did, you know, and it's, you know, it, it, that's what it's all about. Like having fun, like I said, playing basketball with your friends, it's way easier than, you know, just having some teammates. And I feel like Grizzlies basketball, it's like playing with your friends, like having fun. So that always adds up and makes it easier to play and win. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I always give him a hard time, even if he does a good job. You like on opening night of the season, if you're in the starting lineup and you hear your name called and it's like 20,000 in FedEx form, what would it feel like for you, especially being a guy who didn't get a lot of opportunity last season, to now be put in that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, I think just, you know, that's a reward for the hard work. But like, a, like I said, you know, I've been working for this. I feel like, you know, I've earned the shot of, of, of getting a spot. Like I said, there's a lot of good competition. So I'm just going to keep working until that day and then for the next game and next game. So, so yeah, I mean, obviously that's what I'm looking forward to. That would be great, and that's my goal. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm excited to get to opening night and see, seeing the FedEx Forum roaring and, and full. Uh, Santi, I remember when we were in Vegas and, you know, you had one of your rougher games and you were telling me how, you know, you still go to sleep the same and – wake up and, you know, treat the next day like a whole new day. How, how do you sleep tonight after, you know, having a, a big game, stepping in the starting lineup and, uh, you know, pro producing the way you did? Yeah, obviously you go to sleep a bit happier for sure. But uh, like I said, it's it's the same, you know, like even if I didn't hit as many shots today or didn't, you know, have as many good actions, I would go to sleep the same because, you know, I got to come to work tomorrow like this game's past. Uh, so you know, next up is Miami. We got to focus on ourselves for the next couple of days. So, like, it doesn't change. You know, it's a long row ahead, road ahead, so you can not get stuck in, like, one game, one action. So, that's, that's the plan. 
right, thank you.